Okay, hello and welcome back to yet another episode of Vault Hunters. So in this episode, we're going to be doing our first, our first, uh, executioner vault, I guess. So where we'll actually kill a guy. Um, I'm doing this just because I feel like it. Polygon layout, okay. And, uh, yeah, let's, let's see how this goes. I don't fully know much else of how this is all going to work, but... We're just gonna go in, and, uh, well, let's hope we don't die, because that would suck. Okay. Three, five, five, what the, the devil? What? I don't know how this all works, so... Hunt the guardians. That means there's more than one. Also, let's uh, let's just get some deep slate first. I want to make sure. Yeah, we have a magnet, right? Good. Deep slate. Grabbing some deep slate. So we have a like a concrete building block. I want to make sure that we actually don't do anything stupid, and hopefully we should be able to do the special strats. So. I don't know how this all is going to work, but from what I can tell, um, obelisks exist. Okay, there's a way up over here. There's a way down. We'll check out downstairs first. I don't know. I don't fully know how all this works, but we're going to find out, uh, or you're going to find out with me here. So, first of all, we got practically nothing. Next off, we got practically nothing. And there's only two chests in there. Some living chests, so down there. Epic wooden chests, perfect. Let's just try and not take any damage while we slay them all. Perfect, we got all you guys, all you. And we can shift click push that stuff into there. Living chests, always useful. Especially for the burger buns, because we get even more XP from that, which is just dandy. Perfect. Nothing over there. Okay. Get you, get you, get you. Oh! Well, he didn't die from one hit. That's unfortunate. Just make sure we get all the Knowledge Essence. Ten Knowledge Essence so far. It's a laboratory block? Okay. Quite interesting. Let's just head up. We'll check upstairs, I guess. For the upper area. I don't know how this all works. Is there an obelisk in every vault, is my question. Because if so, or in every room, sorry. Let's just make sure we get all you guys. Ooh, we got our first uh, amplifying focus, which is nice. You'll love to see it. Ooh, some more chromatic... Iron, perfecto. Amplifying focus adds a new random modifier, so it'll fill a ran one of your slots. Uh. Perfect. There we go. Grab you guys. Shulker boxes, always useful. Grab you, perfect. And doesn't look like there's much else to do down here. So we're just gonna head all the way over here. So it looks like the way that these vaults are formatted is essentially each room has the chance to spawn obelisk. Some rooms don't. And you need six obelisks to fight the first guardian. Three to fight the second, and then five for any subsequent. 
so I don't fully know if we're gonna be able to do that for this vault. But what I do know, this is a really good uh, POI for ores, so we're just gonna get everything we can because the more Laramar, the more Benny tight we get, everything, the better our late game will be, which is just ideal. So we're gonna get all that stuff there, that into there. More ore POIs up here as well. I love to see it. Okay. Anything black opal? Okay. Nothing unfortunate. Anything else? Nothing. Dang. At least there's one more right over here that we can take care of. Benny. Oh, this one's like a multi layer. Whoa. This is wild. I didn't know they added a ton new uh, POIs like this. This is insane. This one's quite big, too. I like it. It's perfect for getting good ores, especially this early on. Like, holy... You'll love to see it. Because any ores this early on are just a massive benefit to us late game, because it increases the speed that we'll be able to progress which is just dandy. So, make sure we grab all of them. Perfect. And now, we'll check out over here. Nothing over there. Okay. And, of course, a lag, so I don't get to put down water. That's all good. I don't know. Do we head down, or do we not? Seems to be downstairs. Those aren't stairs. Um... There's over here. Let's go down and check out even more ores. Perfect. See, now I'm glad I checked down because I was almost was tempted to skip it. And we would have missed this big ore POI. Would have lost us some sparkle team. Would have been really unfortunate to be honest with you. Let's do this. And any other POIs down here? Any any obelisks? Any any anything? Really? I guess not. Okay, let's uh do this then. That's we're gonna do this. Pebbles. I do not need pebbles. I open you guys just for the extra XP we get, as well as for more scaffolding, because we're kind of running out. So, is there any scaffolding in here? Yeah, there was. Good, good, good. Let's grab you. Let's go up. Also, running out of bread. Ooh, this is a uh, Omega room. The first Omega room, I think. Yep. Okay. Well, this uh, this will be helpful. Get ores in here, so that's good. Although it is a bit unfortunate, just the circumstances that we're in. Because if we fully loot this room, it means we probably won't get much else, which is fine with me. Although. It is just a bit unfortunate. Okay, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up these guys. Two epics in a row? Okay. Knew the streak couldn't last. It's unfortunate. Ooh, let's do this. There we go. Now we go up one more. We go over to here. We break you. Ooh. I like it when ornate chests do that. Um. Yeah, that's pretty pretty juicy. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Let's go up a little bit more. 
We can check out what's in this one as well. Ooh, we got some livings. So, living chests. Won't be able to easy vein mine it. And I wouldn't want to either because we need space for other stuff. But it's good for knowledge essence. Uh, especially with all the Beniatite we just got. So, we got a total of... Uh, several Beniatite. Um... Got a total of 17 Beniatite from that this vault so far, which is quite a lot, actually. There's one more chest that we haven't grabbed yet. Or one more pail of chests that we haven't grabbed yet up here, I should say. Let's go over to, over to you. And what we're going to do... Oh, I guess, uh, I guess the, they're color-coded? No, they're not. Um, that's confusing. It could at least be, like, semi-color-coded or something, but I guess not. They're just random. Anywho, got some pretty, pretty neat stuff from there. Choose up the rest of my blocks. We go like this. And... Of course we fell all the way down, because I'm just that skilled. I'm just that skilled. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just that skilled. Perfect. There we go. Well, we're poisoned now. That was probably a very large mistake. Um... <laughs> Well, at least we can heal up easy, but holy, we got two pieces of all gear. I, I saw the gear and I just had to jump down. I wanted to make sure to get it. Um, two pieces of all gear, not too shabby. Oh, I'm gonna... <coughs> Jeez, I just, I just sneezed so hard. That, that was, that was bad. I sneezed too hard. Ooh, more ornates. Okay. Let me, let me dig out a little bit so we get some. Oh! Those are the sounds of majesticness. I love it. That was great. Okay, you guys just die in peace. There we go. And now we get the coins. So many coins, perfect. 68 Volt Bronze. 77, 81, 87, and 92 Volt Bronze total from that. Dang. That's pretty crazy. Let's, uh, let's just go up here. Okay, let's go all the way up. Perfect. Grab you, now we open up these pails. And hopefully we'll be able to dump some of- Okay, well. Um. Okay, I'm just getting rid of the stuff that I don't need. So chains, I don't need. Everything else I will take. Jeez, that's- Ooh, we got a magnet. Got two magnets, actually, that's pretty big. Um, okay, let's see, what what's in this guy? Gildeds. Okay. No special ones, Sag. Anywho, let's, uh, let's just open up these. Don't want an Obtanium. Want everything else, including Regret Nuggets, because they are very good. Chip to Jewel, Copper... Amethyst. What I will do is put you down. Which way did we come in from? Shoot. I think it was over here, right? Let me let me check. I just gotta make sure. Is uh, if if we're not sure. Okay, good. I came in from the north. We're going south. I'm gonna continue heading south for one more room, and then if we don't find anything. Then I'm gonna leave because we got 10 minutes left in this vault and I've got some pretty neat stuff that I don't want to lose. So we're just gonna casually 
Yes. Okay. They could have at least made, like, the obelisks easier to find. Or, like, more common, because they seem to be pretty dang rare. Yeah, I mean, like, I, I was taking a risk because I didn't know fully how these vaults work yet. But, you know, I don't want to full risk it by just full sending it. Trying to get, uh... Trying to, like, complete it when I haven't even seen a single obelisk yet, so... Or we're not gonna risk it, we're just gonna get out with this, the good stuff that we got. Here in a little bit after I... After I loot this room, of course. Maybe one more, because this room does seem to be quite empty. Unfortunately. Um, way down, yep, over here, perfect. Good, good, good. I keep forgetting I need bread. I'm running out of food. Um, an alcove oh, alcove over here. Ooh, big coin pile. Okay. Maybe I try a scavenger vault next. I'm not a hundred percent certain though, and how good those are right now, because I think the loot has changed since I last played. Specifically for those vaults, so. Just want to make sure that I'm not doing anything too risky. Might do a test. There's a dungeon. Do I want to go for it is the real question. I think that we're going to give it a look. If it seems too dangerous, I will back off. So dungeon, it's back there. Ow, hey, that hurted. That hurted a lot. Hello. Hey. Yeah, that don't look worth it, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Um. We're just gonna head up and out, and we'll do we'll do one more room. I just want to check it out to see if we can actually find an obelisk, like at all. So we're just gonna head straight south. Just one more room, and then we'll call it quits and head out of the vaults. Cause I don't want to risk. Don't want to risk anything. Okay. Well, seems like there's no obelisk down there. Let's head up all the way up to here. Doesn't seem like it. Whew. I just gotta stop getting hit so often, I'm gonna be honest. By the way, the reason why I'm veina mining that one was because there was one more right in there that was propping up those. So I wanted to make sure. Anyway, no mono, or obelisk down there, or up there. So we're going to head right down. Any obelisks down here? Any at all? Doesn't look like. Oh, there is one. Ow! So that's what the Vault Guardians is. They are no longer... God, that was not a smart play. I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Um... Okay, we're gonna... Okay, um... Whew. This is, this is not safe at all. Whew. 
Wait, did we get- we got one? Okay. Um, uh, okay, we're gonna- we're gonna heal and head- head out. We're- we're heading- we're heading out. That was... That was just about the most dangerous thing I've done in Vault Hunters, uh, it's for a long time. Ooh. I need to heal. Heal, heal, heal. Heal costs like 27 mana, 25. Spamming it. There we go. Okay. Ooh, we almost lost a bunch of good loot there. I didn't realize that that was one obelisk. Your first one is Hill 6 of the Vault Guardians. Like the ones from the. the, the okay. You know, that, that would have been nice to know. I'm glad that I figured that out after all that time. Now that I know, I don't know if I'm gonna do that again. Um, that was, that was pretty, pretty scary. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if we're gonna get any XP for objective-based stuff for that. If so, I'm gonna be kinda happy about it. But if not, I'm gonna be a little bit sad that we didn't get anything for it, seeing as we did kill a few, especially when they were so scary. They just appeared out of nowhere and they attacked me. They attacked me and they brutally they brutally assaulted me. It was terrifying. Objective zero. What how much? Arbalist Guardian, Bruiser Guardian. 300 XP per. Okay. Um and bunch of chests. Not quite to level 14 yet, but we might be able to get there after I do this. So, vanilla stuff I'm going to put into here. These things I'm going to put into there. That I'm going to put into there. That goes there. Gems. Good. Gems. Gem, 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 gem. Gems. Perfect. Here. That's stuff we're gonna roll. So that'll go... That'll go into here. Um, so that stuff can go back... Wait, gem. Gem can go there. Now, we're gonna go... Like this. And then take you. We're gonna also get the burger buns. And the Schmeat and Burger Buns from there. We're gonna combine them. We're gonna take these buns. We're gonna put it there. We're gonna take the raw carbon. We're gonna combine it all. We get ourselves refined carbon. Okay. Iron Nuggies are gonna go in there. Same with gold. Same with pieces of iron. Okay, this one's empty. So that's good. Now is the fun part. So now everything else is gonna come out. Um, we gotta make ourselves a wooden chest. A wooden chest scroll. Wooden chest go over here. Here we go in there. Coin we take. Now we already have silver. We combine. We combine. We take silver, turn gold. Silver, gold, bronze, perfect. That goes there. Take some of you. You go there. You go there. You go there. Diamond nuggets. I mean, I guess diamond nuggets are technically vanilla based, so I'll put them here. And then you, 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 you. You, 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 perfect. And we'll take you guys as well. Get you guys combined all up, perfect. You guys combined all up. 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 And then we have a total of a bunch of stuff now and 15 vultures. So we're gonna eat them.
<laughs> Level 14, perfect. Level 14. Now, come on. What are we gonna level up? We're going to level up, so he will cost even more. Have a lower cooldown, though. Uh, dash. Maybe we go passives, because passives are gonna help out quite a bit here. Speed costs four. Last stand. Berserking. Extra resistance. Methodical healing efficiency while below. Extra damage while below mana. Potions. Sorcery. Witchery. Stone skin. I think I'm just gonna go strength again. Just so we do even more damage. Um, not completely necessary or helpful for the specific s circumstances, but it's going to overall be a good pick, just so that we do a little bit more damage for a longer amount of time. Um, honestly, I think I'm just going to take vanilla stuff. Vanilla stuff is automatically going to go into here. And I'm going to get that sorted out in between for like a pickup upgrade or something. Anywho, we got you guys as well. Chuck you into there. I might as well put you in here as well. And we got you. Perfect. Take you guys. We'll take you. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, whoops. Perfect. 17 more Vault Rocks. Some more Chromatic Iron. And now to roll the gear and other stuff. So, no completion because we didn't complete it. Uh, we got some emeralds. Great. You'll have to see it. Um, it's just dandy. Get it in this pouch. Anywho, let's roll. Starting with, uh, I guess, the magnets. Our current magnet is a just a scrappy magnet, but let's roll the magnets first. Let's see, will we get anything special? Okay, we got ended up getting a cum and a scrappy. So copiously, this one's current velocity, four velocity, same so same velocity, better range. Worse dura, but only just is there any more prefixes nope this one nope okay we'll swap you out um i guess we can recycle you just turn straight into magnetite what does it take to make a magnet uh magnetite ingots okay well i'm, I'm gonna make some magnetite ingots i guess uh, a little chest plate we'll roll come on let's get let's get something like rare or burst okay never mind um, six armor as opposed to our current five armor, though our current one does have an empty prefix, so we can roll that. Plus 12 mana. Okay, that's pretty dope. This one also has an empty prefix, and we'll do that one too. Plus two health. Okay, even better. Anywho, we'll trash you guys, because we don't need you. Now for the Vault Sword. Current Vault Sword is epic, so I'm going to roll these guys at the same time, because maybe we'll get something good for the Magnet. But Vault Sword ended up being common, with mediocre rolls on everything. And this one ended up being common as well, with Mining Speed and Dura as its extras. So we're going to leave those alone. Like I can also go. Perfect. And now, I'm going to say... Goodbye, thank you so much for watching, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, comment down below. I'll see you guys next time. 2Gs, peace, see ya.